Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question or lead code regarding lead code five frame recommendations. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay. The question reads, we are given a table called distance with three different columns, user ID, song ID and day. This table may contain duplicates. Each row of this table indicates that the user, user ID listened to the song, song ID on the day, day. We are also given a second table called friendship with two different columns, user 1 ID and user 2 ID. The combined columns being the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that the users, user 1 ID and user 2 ID are friends. Note that user 1 ID is less than user 2 ID. Okay. We need to recommend friends to lead codify users. We recommend user X to user Y if user X and Y are not friends and users X and Y listen to the same three or more different songs on the same day. We should note that friend recommendations are unidirectional, meaning if user X and user Y should be recommended to each other, the result table should have both user X recommended to user Y and user Y recommended to user X. Also note that the result table should not contain duplicates. That is user Y should not be recommended to user X multiple times. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have the license table as well as the friendship table. So we only have user one ID one and user two ID two who are friends. So who all have listened to the same three or more songs on the same day. So if you look at user ID one, so we have 10, 11 and 12 on 15th of March, 2021. Similarly, two also has listened to 10, 11 and 12. 3 has listened to 10, 11 and 12 on the same day. But since 1 and 2 are friends, so 2 will not be suggested to 1, but 3 can be suggested to 1, right? Similarly, 1 will be suggested to 3 according to the question that it says, right? So that is what we have in our output. So 1 is recommended to 3 and 3 is recommended to 1. So to solve this question, the first thing that we should do is on a particular day for every song let us see who all have listened to that particular song right so let us perform a self join so from this table called listens alias as l1 let us perform a left to join of the listens table alias as l2 on so l1 dot day is equal to l2 dot day because on the same day and l1 dot song id so who have listened to the same song on the same day so l2 dot song id and l1 dot user id is not equal to l2 dot user id just so that we can remove the redundant rows okay let us go ahead and return all the columns so select star let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at this, what we have here is so user ID one has listened to song ID 10 on 15th of March 2021 user ID 432 also have done the same. Similarly, user ID one has listened to song ID 11 432 have done the same as well. So once we have this data, then what we can do is we need to find the combinations of user ID user one ID or user two ID on the same day have listened to three or more different songs. How can we do that is we can go ahead and do so let me just drag it above we can write hey group by the same day right so you can either take l1 dot day l2 dot day so let me take l1 dot day then l1 dot user id and then l2 dot user id because we need the combinations and then let us return l1 dot user id alias as user 1 id and l2 dot user id alias as user 2 id and we need to have all these combinations who have listened to three or more songs on the same day so having count of distinct l2 dot song id greater than equal to three let me go ahead and run this let's see do what we get in our output okay so if you look at this we have all the combinations possible combinations so we saw that one and two have listened to the same songs one and three also similarly two and one two three and so on okay now from this combinations we need to keep only those ones where user one id and user two id are not friends so one and two are friends and obviously one and two are friends 
so 2 and 1 are also friends so these two should be excluded from this so what we can do is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we can do is let's find out who all are friends let's exclude them so from this common table expression let us perform a left join of the friendship table on so here what can happen is if you perform a join of this table on the friendship table using user 1 id equal to user 1 id and user 2 id equal to user 2 id so if you are friends though you are going to be present in this table so your columns coming from the friendship table are going to be populated but if you are not friends it is going to be null so we only need to keep those rows where those columns coming from the friendship table are null now let us perform this so on cte dot user one id is equal to let's alias this as f right so as f and then f dot user one id and cte dot user two id is equal to let me just write f dot user two id okay so this is going to do one of the joins but it is also seen that in our output that one and two are friends so two are one are also friends but in your friendship table you only have in us it is in a certain row so how can you do that is just reverse it so ct dot user one id is equal to f dot user two id and ct dot user two id is equal to f dot user one id so either you have this or you have cte dot user one id is equal to f dot user two id and cte dot user two id is equal to f dot user one id and let us perform this join and let us return so select star let us see what do we get in our output so now if you look at this right so you have one and three you do not have that in your friendship table right so you are returned with null values right but one and two are friends so one and two are returned and since two, two and one also basically are friends so two, one and two are returned so we need to only keep those rows where these columns any of these columns coming from the friendship table is null so let us keep only those rows where f dot user one id is null okay let us go ahead and run this again so we are going to have okay so we only have the null one so one three two three three one and three two and this is what we have in our output let us alias this in a correct way whatever is required in our output that is you need to have cte dot user one id aliased as user id and cte dot user two id aliased as recommended id and it also says the question says that the first table the listens table has duplicate values right so you do not need duplications in our output so return us distinct combinations let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit us pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes very tricky question that is why it is hard category but what we basically did was we found out that on a particular day who all have listened to three or more same different songs once we had those combinations then we found out okay who all them are friends already we do not need to include them in our output and then we alias them in the way that we want so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video